Can you believe we've already had 12 episodes of Outside Science Inside Parks? This has been an incredible way to celebrate 100 years of the National Park Service. And to wrap up the centennial year, we paddled the canyons of the Green River to see how scientists are keeping an eye on this special place. Check it out. The conservationist John Muir, he once said, how little note is taken of the deeds of nature. What paper publishes her reports? Who records the sheet music of the wind and the water written in river lines? This is Dinosaur National Monument, and right on the border of Utah and Colorado. And this is our laboratory. This is our office. This is our daily commute <laughs> flowing down the river. Oh, it's awesome to be out here. <laughs> it's one of the best experiences you can have at being in a place. I love, you know, sleeping under the stars. <laughs> being on these rivers is amazing. And I think it's also really great to go down the river. You know, we're on an eight-day trip, and over eight days, if you were just in the office, you might not get to know your compatriots as much. I mean, the park for us is a living laboratory. We can figure out what, if anything, we are doing to change the ways of nature and the way that geomorphology and hydrology work in rivers. Uh, we are coming down to our first rapid, called Winnie's Rapid. Um, and right after that, we're pulling over to the side and we have our first long-term monitoring site. The first thing we do at each of our sites is walk the whole thing and write down every single plant species we can find. So we're surveying the topography of uh, the site here where uh, veg crews taking vegetation samples on their uh, plots and then we're wanting to have a 3D map of this entire area. By doing these surveys uh, repetitively every year we can compare that and see uh, what's happening over time as it um, relates to the water releases that come out of the dam. We've just drilled in all these bolts, put our transducer in against this rock here. The pressure of the water on top of it gives us some good readings. So then with that in calculations, we can figure out how much water is flowing by. When the rivers are dynamic, we got a dam just upriver. Dams drop out all the sediment and we're really concerned about what kind of sediment we have moving through the rivers, how that sediment is deposited how that deposited sediment is stabilized by vegetation, and how that narrows the river corridor, changes the dynamic of these environments. Um, and hopefully the data that we're collecting will be able to pick up those changes. You know, we'll be able to monitor the health of places like this. And so it did eat away this island. Uh -huh. So last year it was there, and now you can see that shifted down a little bit. But I think the other thing is it just brings the science and its meaning all to the forefront, right? You're not just crunching numbers, but you're out here and you're seeing the changes in the river ecosystem and thinking about how those changes would continue on in the future by standing on the land that it truly affects. It's an amazing place to wake up to. It's an amazing place to work on. I love being on the river. I love being outside. Um, that's why I chose to get into this field. I can't really think of a, a better place to be, um, conducting science for the National Park Service and the Inventory and Monitoring Program. To be out here experiencing the river, not only during the day when you're collecting data, but also at night, you're at camp, you're camping right along the edge of the river, you hear the river and the rapids all night. So to be totally immersed in the environment you're studying is pretty special. And it's amazing that I can do something that I love, you know, doing the science and trying to protect these ecosystems and still live out here in such a such an amazing place. Yeah, it's more than just the plants and the sediment, the geomorphology that we look at. It's you know, the wildlife. It's really inspiring. It's a reminder how important these landscapes really are. For me, it's really whether I pick up a piece of trash or um, um, do some long-term monitoring. I feel like I'm really helping my little corner of the world, helping clean up and improve my home. And I hope that just about everybody can find a little chunk of the world to help protect and get outside and enjoy it at the same time. Thanks for joining us in 2016. It's been an amazing adventure. Remember that you can always visit nps.gov forward slash nature to find any videos you might have missed throughout the year. Tune in next month when we'll post our favorite clips from 2016 and give a preview of upcoming new episodes about park science.